today we're going to do a quick video on adjusting belt tension on rooftop units. Remember to always be safe when you're working on this, so please make sure your power is off before you open up any panels. We're going to line my blower pulley with my motor shiv. This is the blower pulley, this is the motor shiv. I did this before we started. My motor shiv is the same width as my blower pulley. I also loosened up my Allen screws here with my 532nd wrench to get these guys loose so they're free and clear on the shaft so when we align them up, we can then reset them into place. We can do that two ways. We can use a straight edge or we can use some string. First, we'll do the straight edge. Straight edge, we're gonna get four points of contact. I'm gonna have two points on my blower pulley and then I'm gonna have two points on my motor shiv. Get her nice and tight there. I now have four points of contact. Now I'm gonna do um, the same thing I did with string. We're gonna line the motor, the blower pulley with my motor shift, okay? Nice tight piece of string. We still want four points of contact. Nice and tight, four points of contact, perfect. I did make that look pretty easy because I did have everything preset. If I did need to adjust my, my motor, either inward or outward, they do have um, 916 bolts here that I could loosen up that kind of kick my motor uh, one way or the other. Or if I needed to use shims to shim it out with washers, I could do that as well too. Now we're gonna line an adjustable shift. What is an adjustable shift? An adjustable shiv is a shiv that you can open or close to change the pitch of the belt um, that can increase or decrease the fan RPM. So as we open it up, we're going to slow down our fan RPMs. As we close it in, we're going to speed up our fan RPMs. But now this kind of plays into effect of how we now align an adjustable shiv up. All right. So to align the adjustable shiv, Right, you place the adjustable shift back on the motor shaft. Now we have to align it with our blower pulley. When we line it with our blower pulley, we're going to need to know what the center line of the blower pulley is. The center line is the middle of the blower pulley. We're going to take our straight edge, create two solid points of contact to measure off our straight edge to find the center line of our blower pulley. We're going to do the same thing for our our motor shift. We're gonna take our straight edge, we're gonna find the center line of our motor pulley and align it to the center line or the middle of our blower pulley. Once that's aligned, Time to retighten down the Allen screws. Once we got our blower pulley aligned with our motor shiv, we're going to double check to make sure that we got our Allen screws tightened on both our motor pulley and our motor shiv. Next, we're going to figure out what our deflection rate is going to be. Okay. With that, we're going to need a belt tensioner. Also, we're going to need to do some pretty quick math here. Right here, it's going to tell us that our deflection is going to equal our belt span, our two center points, divided by 64. So our given on our model today is going to be 17 inches. Okay? So then we're going to take 17, divide that by 64, and that's going to give us 0.26 inches of deflection. My belt tensioner has an actual inches of span. So my inches of span is 17. I can set my ring to 17. It's telling us on my sticker here that my deflection force is gonna be 5.3. I can set my other um, O-ring for 5.3. So when I'm checking my tension as I put that on my belt and I put the force down on top of it, I wanna see my top ring connect to the yellow bottom there. That's my force. So when I got the belt on, force of tension, my deflection span, okay? So once again, we're gonna take our center points my given on this one is 17 inches. Divide that by 64 to get 0.26 inches of deflection. 
We're ready to put the belt on and do our tension check. Put the belt on. Watch your fingers. Now we got our straight edge. We're gonna put our straight edge along with our belt to check our deflection force. We already have our belt tensioner preset to where we need it to be. Put it on the belt. Our pounds of force lines up perfectly with our deflection span. How do we know if we got too tight of a belt? Well, when we did our deflection test, our deflector was not getting past our point of deflection, right? Our belt is too tight. We got the pounds of force up top, but our belt is not deflecting properly. So now what we gotta do, we gotta raise the motor up so we make this span shorter, which will loosen up our belt. To do that, we're gonna have four bolts on our motor plate two in the front, two in the back, and we're gonna also have four nuts on top of our, our lifting rods on the motor itself. So right now, we're raising up our blower motor. We're also gonna recheck our deflection. So we raise our motor up a little bit, we're gonna recheck our deflection. It's still a little bit tight, still a little bit tight. I'll raise it up just a little bit more. Raise it up, keep the motor square. Recheck the tension. Perfect. Once we got our tension checked, we would then Tighten up all four of these bolts again and retighten the top two bolts. What happens if our belt is too loose? You do the same checks, check our tension, our belt is way too loose. All right, so now we gotta tighten up our motor. So what we do to tighten it up, we're gonna do the same thing as we did if we wanted to bring it up and make our, our belt looser. We're gonna loosen the top bolts and the four bolts on our motor plate. We're actually gonna put or let the motor go down. We're gonna push the motor down off our, our rods here to tighten it up. As the motor is going down, we're gonna recheck our tension. We'll recheck our tension. So it needs a little bit yet. And we got our tension. Once we achieve our tension, we're gonna retighten up our bolts, top and bottom plates, and apply power back to the unit.